Well, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Adeline Chu, and I am a junior in Quincy House here at Harvard College, and I'm studying East Asian Studies and Government. So I'm here today to take you all on my journey, my undergrad journey, one that was not only transformative in that it gave me confidence and um, my values, but also it gave me perspective. So for me, my transformative experience began during my time abroad. So this was a picture taken after my freshman year, which I spent in China. I was lucky enough to have all of my travels to China sponsored by various uh, institutes and organizations on Harvard campus. And for me, this has been an experience worth sharing. So something that's been very special to me is that I'm an ABC. If it wasn't obvious, I'm Chinese. But my Chinese isn't very good, and Harvard actually gave me the first opportunity to go to China and to uh, learn from my culture and to learn about myself. So when I was a freshman, I believed I had a lot of character flaws. There were a lot of parts of myself that I felt held me back from becoming the ideal Harvard student. As I'm sure many of you know, this is a vision of someone who's confident and charismatic and um, you know, who's unbelievably accomplished. And, you know, when I was a freshman, this wasn't me. And my experience, there are two experiences in China that really changed everything for me, that transformed both my abilities and my perspective on what's important in this world. So after my freshman year, I was lucky enough to be granted an internship from the Harvard China Fund internship program. So I spent two months in Shanghai if anybody recognizes this building, it's one of the most famous buildings in the Shanghai skyline. So while I was with the HCF internship program, I was actually invited to a night at a Harvard alumni networking event. So at this networking event, I was surrounded, well, here you can see the venue. It's a bit hard to see inside, so I'll try to paint the picture for you. This was a beautiful yacht club, dozens of powerful, successful, multi-millionaire Harvard alumni milling about, chatting, exchanging business cards. And then there was me. I was hiding in the corner, refusing to speak to anyone. So by the time one of my friends dragged me over to speak to an alumnus, the only words I managed to get out, and as a disclaimer, I don't actually speak Mandarin very well, I just said, which for those of you who don't speak Chinese means, I like your pants. <laughs> I proceeded to spend the rest of the night more or less mum and uh, as you can imagine, this was not a good look. One of the essential skills for a Harvard student is networking. And as is evidenced by my anecdote, that is not something I was able to do as a freshman. So the first of my experiences that really transformed my abilities was with this car company called Coros Auto. Um, so I interned with this, uh, they're considered one of the premier car startups in China. And one of the special things about working at a startup is that they're very much fluid and dynamic, and the team was still looking for traction in China. For this reason, I got to uh, go on a fieldwork research project during my internship. So my boss actually sent me out into the city to research the sales strategies at various luxury car dealerships, you know, cars that the Chinese people actually want. So what happened here is that, as I mentioned, I don't speak Mandarin very well. But I had to interact with strangers in Mandarin all day for several days. As you might imagine, that was not easy for me at all. I had to learn how to buy a car in Mandarin. But, you know, my Mandarin still isn't very good, but after several days of doing this, I was desensitized to the feeling, and I was more open to the possibility of going up to people and speaking. So as many people already mentioned, the other special part of going abroad is the people. So this was taken during another one of my memorable, memorable nights with the internship program. But I won't elaborate here other than to say that you, there's really nothing that bonds you to your friends like uh, spending time in a foreign country. So the other thing that I learned is that when you come to Harvard, the only chances you have to go abroad aren't just your traditional term time stints at other universities or even just summer school or summer exchanges. Harvard actually has a lot of resources to uh, go abroad in creative and different ways that challenge who you are and uh, challenge your abilities. So for me, the bulk of my experience at Harvard College has been with the Harvard College Association for U.S.-China Relations, for which I have been a board member for the past two years. So 
So I spent this, uh, two weeks after my internship at their flagship conference, which is called the Harvest Summit for Young Leaders in China. And, what, and uh, just for reference, I'm going to call them Oscar from now on, because that's really a mouthful of a name. So you can see me up here. And if you can't see, the, on the screen next to me is a picture of wolves, because I was teaching a seminar for them on wolf psychology and how it relates to human behavior. Um, you can kind of see some of my students in the foreground. The picture should change. Oh, there they are. So I actually ended up teaching 80 of these top Chinese high school students for two weeks. As a freshman who, at the beginning of the summer, wouldn't even talk to someone other than to compliment their pants, this was a huge step up. So what was special to me about this summer, though, was that my students changed my life because they were proof to me that I was able to get in front of a group of 80 students and articulate something important. So before I wrap up, I want to reflect a little bit. I'm not just um, saying that going abroad will change your life. As someone else mentioned, that's not necessarily true. What going abroad taught me was perspective. So something that my students taught me especially is, um, I will never forget this. After my class, several of my students came up to me and said, thank you. I never before knew that the liberal arts experience could transform my life, that I could see the world in so, such multifaceted ways. I've been spending my whole life studying for this one all-important exam at the end of my high school career. And your class on liberal arts really opened my eyes. So this is me. I was at another Oscar conference. And what this experience taught me was not only that am I capable of much more than I imagined, but I am capable of touching others as well. So I'm not just here today to tell you to go abroad and uh, grow yourself while that is very, very good. I am here to say that wherever in the world you are, I hope that not only will you find chances to make yourself a better person, but that you'll use your privilege and your opportunity to touch the lives of those around you as well. Thank you.